So when I bought this land at Merawar, this thought was always there. The, the name in my mind was the inner journey because this is a, a spiritual place and uh, people come here to know themselves, to understand their inner journey. And then the thought came me that I want to build a place over here which should be different. Different in not uh, sense that it should look very flashy or something like that, but it should have that feel which will connect to the name as inner journey. And I, as I knew Suchit and Mandar, the young architects, I thought let's uh, talk to them and see what uh, they can do with this uh, beautiful place. And then we started discussing and uh, various ideas came to both of them. And that's how we finalized this concept, you know, uh, which I call as a floating house somehow. Because if you look from uh, distance, it looks like in the night, it looks like it's floating, you know, and when you're on the lights and all that, it looks like it's floating. So, and I'm, I'm very satisfied with the kind of place it has come up. research that even if you're seeing these bricks around they went to a place called uh, Nevasa all the way and found this beautiful bricks you know they are so even and nicely baked everything they did on themselves went into details of everything searched the materials and then they got it so that's the beauty of this uh, uh, duo I'll call Mandar and Suchit and as the name suggests the inner journey when we had discussions earlier, I wanted a place, you know, where I can find myself. And now after this whole place has come up, I really feel it's uh, very near to what I wanted. You know? uh, as discussed, there is no television, no Wi-Fi over here. Very minimalistic, you know, no much gadgets. In fact, no gadgets. Uh, the walls are as natural as possible. And the whole environment is very natural. So, uh, the name Inner Journey is uh, coming up true over here. 